Ammonife radio surgery is a non-invasive means of uh, destroying or inactivating uh, tissue inside the uh, brain or skull. Uh, typically used to treat certain types of brain tumors, facial pain, vascular malformations. Some people think of it as being kind of like an x-ray laser. The difference between gamma knife radio surgery and conventional surgery is that there's really no surgery involved in gamma knife radio surgery. There's no incision, there's no open wound. Uh, so realistically, there's very little in the way of uh, recovery, uh, pain, uh, and uh, there's really no risk of uh, wound healing or wound infection problems. Gamma knife surgery works by focusing uh, almost 200 beams of gamma rays uh, on the area that is to be treated. Uh, beforehand, uh, patients uh, typically uh, need to uh, not eat or drink after midnight uh, before they get their uh, CT and MRI scans. Uh, during the procedure, uh, there is a metal reference frame that is applied uh, to the head that the patient wears from uh, the beginning of the procedure until the end. And the actual treatment itself can vary from being anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours where they lie in a machine, kind of like a CAT scan or MRI machine, uh, where they are then being treated. And at the end of the procedure, then the frame is removed and they go home and, and typically resume their normal activity by the second or third day. For the vast majority of patients, they'll only require one gamma knife procedure in order to treat the underlying condition. On certain occasions, particularly for large tumors, we'll have the patient come back in a few weeks to get an extra radiation boost. There is another way to do gamma knife, however, which uses a mask instead of a, a frame, and those patients will be treated daily for three or five days uh, in order to treat particularly large tumors. The Gamma Knife Radio Surgery Program at the Cleveland Clinic is one of the uh, busiest in the country and uh, one of the most well respected. Uh, our radio surgery program itself dates back to 1989 and was the first in Ohio. The uh, treating physicians here uh, not only uh, are very frequent practitioners of Gamma Knife Radio Surgery, but also teach Gamma Knife Radio Surgery to new practitioners, one of only two or three places in the world uh, that do that.